Now that we're back, hey, now that we're back, let's take this off isolation. Isolation. So all we're gonna do is kind of, kind of the same. But, well, no, it's, it's, it's the same. I kind of just put the spokes on, on this to see how it fits together and I'll just make the axle. I'm going to keep this, keep the screen so it's isolated. That little buddy. Uh, how's the axle going to fit in here? So the axle is going to be here, attached to here. But it's going to hold this up. Which means this needs another axle pivot hole. Axle hole. Big old hole. In the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what I do know though, is I'm going to make another one. Like that, and that's. I'm going to make this. Not three years. Thirteen. I might want to make it a bit bigger. Hang on. Possible that I need to make the hand crank a little bit smaller. Because obviously the test tube is going to be flying out here. You don't want to catch your hand on it, do you? Let's make this about that height. I have no idea how well this will print out. But for now, let's edible poly art. That's fine as is, really. As is. Let's insert that. Not insert, Jesus. I'm going to want to insert this by five. Add another insert, but not by five, just by five. By four. And this insert is going to bridge. Oh, I need to make the other one closer because I don't want it to be so thick that it kind of just doesn't doesn't work. Because it's only going to be axle driven; it's not going to be powered by uh, by anything else but hand winch. So I'm wondering if I just make that hole bigger. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, that'll be all right. Do uh, let's back up a little bit just to make that hole a little bit tighter. So let's insert another. Let's insert it by seven. Like that, and let's plus it, and let's drive it back. I'm not going to do it by four because I'll. That's by four. It'll be inside of itself. So I'm just going to do it by two this time because it's now quite quite close. Let's extrude my extrude bridge. Bridge that up. That's fine. Then let's now just put uh, spokes on. Spokes on. Spokes person. Spokes on. Spokes on. I'm gonna make it I'm going to make them a little bit smaller because that's one, which is the size of the other ones. No, it's not. 0. 0.5! Hello, 0. 0.5. 0. 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. Go on up and in. 0. 0.5. Full front. Chrome goes full frontal. Yeah. And yes, I am going to do the boring old stuff as before but this time because it's a different spoke you're going to be wanting to put it I have the pivot activate the pivot affect the pivot uh, and that's align it but because it's going to be the other way 
I'm going to be wanting to turn that off. Turn these here like that. And all we're going to do is just going to do exactly the same. I wonder if I can just do that. I can just do that. I didn't do it by enough, so I want two, three, four, four. Ooh, that didn't work so good. But obviously, we can just add them. Click them there. It's killing time. I haven't done that song ages. So let's attach all of these because now we've got green, green wheel. Wheel Wheaton. Green wheel. Okay, now we've got that. Okay. Let's send that. And the flip turn flipped it upside down. So now we can undo that. Now we can somewhat slot this in. Let's do it that way. Eh? Move it a little bit to the left like that. So now we've got and crank spoke. Let's turn angle snap off for a second. Could I turn this? Ooh, that's a Shadoozy. So what is going on there? Do I have to raise up so I can stand on mountains? Because I'd, I'd figure they had to be shorter. But I didn't know how much shorter, so that it only catches. So that it only catches one. So that it only catches one at a time. Mm, that'll work. Yeah, sure, that'll work. Right, so let's. I'll get on to that in a minute. Let's get on to, to this, eh? Onto the axle. Because I don't know whether I want it to be a flat base or a pyramid base. Oh. I think I'm going to go with, with pyramid base, pyramid head. So even though it's pyramid based, I'm going to actually. That's well, that is in the center, is that? No, that's not what I want. <clears throat> Center everything. Oh, that was the wrong one. I want to center on movement, not on rotate. Now let's move that in and down. Like that. So what we can now do is. Select this horrible menage and pull it down. So three, just to see where things are. It just needs to be rotated a little bit. I don't know whether I need to move this down or not. Yeah, I do. So it's, it's, it's a close catch. <clears throat> so now that I've got that, I'm going to grab these and pull them up like that. Let's see where the base is going to be. Triangular base. I'm going to need to be in in the middle. 
Stuck in the middle of you. Now it seems alright, I just need to give it a bit of a bit more thickness. And I'm going to do that in, in right now. So you may have noticed a, a cut there. That's fine, I had to run to a special place. A very special place. Called the toilet. Anyway, now we have a pyramid. I'm just going to center it. Of course. Uh, really, the less said about me going to the toilet, the better. Oh, Jesus, I, I destroyed that fucker. So let's make it uh, 10 by 10 by 5. So now we have this triangle, this prismic base. Oh, yeah. So let's over poly that and pretend nothing actually happened. So we're going to grab all four polys and extrude them. That was weird. That's also weird. That's weirder. And that much should be okay. But now we got to flatten these buggers out. Didn't mean to get that one, just one of these two. Just one of these two. Let's pull them down to the center. Let's pull these down to there. So we've got like this very nice thing. Let's go to left view and pretty much pretty much do the same. Though I will make these four a bit. Because of anything, I've just made a stupid decision by making it the wrong shape. Cool, right? It's cool. Suppose I could just add it in actually. <laughs> so that's fine. Actually just leave it like that. Because now what I can do is actually add a cylinder in there as well. To take up that space. Because now I've got the front. And we've got this. Quite nice cylindrical step. Stub, which I'm going to actually make the radius a bit wider, just make it about mm, two. Mm. And its height, because I'm going to go straight up and do this one first. And I want to grab these two. <clears throat> And I want to taper this down. So you get quality entertainment, even though it's only going to go on for another 10 minutes. Not another 10 minutes, bloody 7. Let's just grab this poly, inset it. Ooh, that's a tad off. Oh, I haven't. Oh, I get it. Whoops. Just, I don't want just that one, the whole shape, but, but, zero, zero, zero. So because it's pyramid, I'm actually going to raise this to here. Make sure it's not cutting through anything, which is good. Let's select that poly top view. T for top. Tippy toppy. And let's recenter the uh, top. So we're going to. Oh, it looks awesome. We're going to actually close in the gap. It's, 
just give it a bit more a bit more in there and we select it and now we can extrude it upwards which by 10 is a bit much I'm going to pull it down to there but obviously I want it to sit on it What do I just do? Just extrude and leave it. Let's just take that in. But obviously what I want to do is I want the actual thing to sit on it just to see how far it would actually... So it would sit on it right about there. F3 that. So now I've got a really nice spoke which I'm going to attach to the top of it, top of it, up a bit later. So now we've got this quite nice thing here that's attached these pyramids to it. It's all one shape like that. One love, one need. Sorry. So let's go left view, F3 and find out where that circle is there. So let's create another cylinder. This time, let's see if we can actually center it first. And that seems all right, but let's just turn it so it is actually send it with it. Let's have a movement. Bring it out like that. So now I'm going to actually make it a little bit wider. I'm going to make it the width of this circle here. So left view F3 again. is this circle, it's the outer circle. Just keep checking, just in case you make a mistake. So what's this big one here? Let's increase the radius to just, just under it, because obviously if it prints out wrong or weird. Hmm. I'm going to Increase the size of this bit here. Let's select all the edges here, connect them. And that's ooh, as of my knee. Let's bring these in, but bring these up like that. Ooh. Just to make it look a bit more functional. Let's select all of... Oh, I pressed spacebar accidentally. That just locks the whole thing. Let's extrude that by local. Like that. Let's F3. Turn off this. Select this. Drag it out. Now we've got... So now we've got that. Although if we select, whoa, whoops, may have selected the top one there. Jesus. Let's select that. And now we can just resize it outwards like that. That's very, very cool. This is very, very cool. Which is much better, but of course we have to select these again, just to drag them appropriately inwards. Not have this mad squish. It's about there, like that. Now I have this cautious looking thing. 
that's Dawn and Gnomes. So we've got Polly. Then we can grab this and extrude it. That wood's not by that much, Jesus. But I've made the decision, not the decision, I've made the dumbassery of following this circle instead of the inner circle, which means I'm going to have to go to this view, right view, which has no button unless you change it, press F3, and I have to make it this circle. So let's inset it by... <clears throat> I may need to move this whole thing a little bit left. Mm-hmm, that'll do. So let's inset it to that size. Of course I wanted a little bit loose and riding on it. So I'm going to increase it a little bit by that big. Let's go to front view. Let's extrude. Extrude. Extrude that to there. Because obviously it'll taper down to this. That's that's okay. Let's go back to right view. Oh, I went over. So next part, I'm going to finish this very quickly, and then we'll move on to the actual cradle assembly of the uh, centrifuge. But for now, bye bye. This will be on Thingiverse, by the way. So if you want to print these parts out, feel free. If you have a 3D printer. Bye.